Kaboom! is an Activision video game published in 1981 for Atari 2600 that was designed by Larry Kaplan. David Crane coded the overlaid sprites. It was well received and successful commercially, selling over 1 million cartridges by 1983. Kaboom! is an unauthorized adaptation of the 1978 Atari coin op Avalanche. The gameplay of both games is fundamentally the same, but Kaboom! was re themed to be about a mad bomber instead of falling rocks. As an ex-Atari programmer, Larry Kaplan, originally wanted to port Avalanche to the Atari 2600. In Avalanche all the boulders are lined up at the top which is difficult to accomplish on the 2600, hence the shift to the Mad Bomber. <laughs> Gameplay The game is similar to Avalanche in concept, but instead of there being a pre-existing set of rocks across the top of the screen that randomly fall, a character known as the Mad Bomber moves back and forth randomly dropping bombs. As the game progresses, the Mad Bomber traverses the top of the screen much more erratically, dropping bombs at increasingly higher speeds, making each of the seven higher levels more difficult. The player uses a paddle controller to move buckets back and forth near the bottom of the screen to catch the bombs before they reach the bottom. The player starts with multiple buckets arranged over each other, which makes it more likely to catch the bombs in one of them. If the player fails to catch a bomb, it explodes, along with any other bombs still on the screen in a chain reaction from bottom to top. This also causes one of the buckets to disappear, the game ending when the player loses the last one. Points are awarded for every bomb caught, and extra buckets maximum of three are awarded at every 1,000 points. While the Mad Bomber is dropping bombs, he has an unhappy face. If the player misses and a bomb is dropped, he smiles while the bombs on the screen explode. The game manual mentions that something special will happen after 10,000 points. When the player reaches that score threshold, the Mad Bomber's face appears surprised, upset, even if the player drops a bomb. When Kaboom! was originally sold, anyone who scored above 3,000 points could send Activision a picture of his or her television screen to receive membership in the Activision Bucket Brigade and a Bucket Brigade patch. Reception Contemporary critical reception was positive with Kaboom! winning an award for Best Audiovisual Effects at the third annual Arky Awards. Arky Award judges characterized the game as a feast for the eyes and ears, and commented that Activision had hit the mark dead center again with Kaboom. While the game concept was described as rather similar to that of Avalanche, Kaboom! was found to have such presentational elan that it was hailed as an instant classic. The game was also covered in Video Magazine's 1982 Guide to Electronic Games where it was praised for its exceptional graphics and lightning quick gameplay richard a edwards reviewed kaboom in the space gamer number 55 edwards commented that all in all it is hard to recommend kaboom definitely try this one before buying topic <laughs> ports Kaboom! was later released for the Atari 5200 and the Atari 8-bit family of computers. A 16-bit remake for the Super NES was in the works at some point, but was never released. In the late 1990s, a keychain version of the game was created by Tiger Electronics. Kaboom! is one of the titles included on the Activision Anthology compilation. Topic. See also. Lost Luggage, another Atari 2600 Avalanche-inspired game, but with suitcases instead of bombs Egomania, a chicken-and-egg-themed Avalanche variant for the 2600